Welcome to Project Smith Tech and we're going to get straight into it. So this is a X58 motherboard dual processor and I'm going to give you a quick ex explanation of why this is a really bad idea to run this in 2022. CPU goes to the North Bridge chipset and we've got the South Bridge and then you got your two. So the computer, the system that I'm going to be building today will populate these two. I'm going to be running RAID 0 with SSDs to try and get as much speed as possible. But it is only SATA 2, not SATA 3. But go from there to there to there. Then eventually makes its way to the CPU. The motherboard is the Super Micro. Um, I won't bother reading that out. You can see it there. And now we go to the CPUs. And I don't think there's a chance. I'll... Do a cut in here, just explaining quickly what the CPUs are. Alrighty, this is just a quick overlook at the processor, um, Westmare. Um, yeah, 3.73 on the single core. This will go up to 3.57 on all core boost, and I've never ran that out. So as long as you can keep it cool, which they don't didn't necessarily put out that much. Anyway, that's just a quick look at the processor itself. Here we've got um, a total of 48 gigabytes of ECC memory, DDR3. So, and these do get actually hot while running. So, anyway, I'm going to build this and complementing this system because I really want to play Cyberpunk and I'm going to say, well, can you run Cyberpunk on an X58 board? We're going to be using a bit better graphics card than the AMD 550 that we did last time. That's right. Introducing the, for the win... 980 Ti. Now you shouldn't knock this card. This card's actually pretty good. This does have a bus width of PC, yeah, PCI 3 or Gen 3 um, 16 lanes. It's still going to be relatively okay for the board. Now the board's journey here isn't quite as bad as going to the South Bridge. It's gonna, you're going to go occupy the first 16 lanes of Gen 2 to the North Bridge, then eventually to your CPU. Oh man. Direct CPU connection. What a joy. But... That's not what we're doing today. Nice. All right, first step, we're going to install the CPU. And we're going to look for the triangle. And you can see, well, it doesn't show up very well on camera, but the triangle's there. You can see the small triangle there. We're going to install that Intel Xeon X5690 chip. Little wriggle. It's only a single latch. And this will hold down quite well. There we go, no problems, nice. Next we're gonna grab our RAM. Beautiful. And you can see I got it the wrong way, so it's just as simple of applying the lines. And actually with this, counterintuitive so th those who don't know what we want to do is we're going to install it in the blue slots and the reason why is that because the signal integrity these are actually sh sharing the same channel so it actually makes sense from a signal integrity point of view to have it in the blue so you don't get the interference from the feedback from going from there it's very subtle and most electronic equipment wouldn't notice this but apparently with ram it does and this board will actually will throw out an error so it won't let you boot with the in the black slot if you don't have the blue slots first activated. Now it is awkward. Normally I'm better at this, but I am looking at the camera and trying to see what I'm doing at the same time. Excuses, but there we go. And with this, same deal. Did I seriously get that in? No, definitely not. And you're going to want to put it in there until it's wasn't very satisfying. Let's see if we can do that better with the next one. There we go. That's good. And just for fun, normally I'd cut this out because I do want to keep uh, to go as best as possible to keep this flow going, but. There we go, nice. And that's 24 gigs of RAM right there. And this is just for the benefit of those who haven't actually watched my videos before. I'm just doing a 
typical paste what I think what I'd recommend Arctic silver for the paste some would argue that that's quite a lot of paste um, it does leave a big mess but apart from that I don't think it negatively affects cooling and this example yeah And there you go, as you can see with the assistance of my trusty spatula, I was able to evenly spread it out. No problem. Now for the cooler. Alrighty, as for the cooler, I just want to give it a little twist just to try and even out the heat paste as much as possible. I'm going to be using a crisscross pattern. And I'll start at one corner. And just move these into place fortunately the super micro board um yeah there's no additional parts that needed for the cooling so once you have an lga 1366 compatible cooler pretty easy for this one and i won't bore you as we've gone here but i am going to just do a quick crisscross but while i have your attention still i'll talk about the fans in this board um so with the bios for whatever reason i don't know whether it's a fault with this particular board but it won't detect um, CPU temperature in the bus and therefore I have no fan control over it so all I do from here is I use these Arctic's they're a single drive fan no PWM and I just have two redundant for this I don't know if that gives a yeah very low wattage though and the CPUs don't actually warm up that much, so these fans will do. So next time when you see the video, everything should be dressed up nicely. For the fan installation today, I'm really proud of myself for some reason. I actually got blue zip ties for the Intel, yeah? Man, my forward thinking here. I think I lost the brackets for these ones, because I think these ones actually came with a dual fan. Uh, then some of them, a lot of them didn't though, so... If I'm using zip ties, it's because I... I'm compensating so one fans basically for redundant so I don't get I don't necessarily believe it's um, better cooling off by a very small margin but if one fan happens to die at least you got a spare one and that's how we're going to do it so I'm not going to go film the whole lot but I will show you the concept of the first um, zip tie then I trust that you guys are smart enough to if you're going to emulate what I'm doing you get it I don't want to be one of these YouTube channels that spend us a long time introducing myself or anything like that everything's got to be quick and with this one the zip tie make sure you have the um the tab of the zip tie up like that so when you go to curl it back around you have no problems and i think we're gonna what cut it off here actually no let's let's at least do the first um axis so you got there i carefully well thought out place zip tie blue for the intel And check that out. We've got it nice, secure, and I'll call that good enough. All right. So I will mention with the zip ties when you go on the so when you go on the top, make sure you really thoroughly plan out because you don't want to do it again. And then for the bottom, you're going to turn it around because the zip tie is going to go under the cooler this time. All right. Just have a quick look at what it is. This is what the system looks like just before the graphics card. Although obviously I'll put it in the case before installing the graphics card. Um. Yeah, I don't mind this offset actually because I was a little bit concerned about creating a hairdryer effect so CPU heats up the other CPU. So, nah, it doesn't seem to be a problem. I think this is actually all right. Matt, can't wait till I play Cyberpunk. Really old CPU. Very, today what I call a mid-range graphics card, so the 980 Ti I'm referring to. I'm actually pretty happy with this. And the blue doesn't stand out too horribly. Look guys, it was cheap, all right? And you know the rule, the money is always right. <laughs> all right. Well, unfortunately, as much as I wanted to, I really wanted to film putting the motherboard in, but it's not that big of a deal. But unfortunately I needed two hands and the tripod didn't provide much value in filming. So, sort of got everything wired up, ready to plug it in. Let's go. Well, there it is, with a relatively clean build, wiring relatively well, and that's it for this build. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, 
uh, subscribe. Project Smith Tech signing out. Thank you very much. Anyway, this is quite a nifty little box. I can't wait till I see how a few games will go running this. So hopefully you'll join me in the next video. Now for the big peel. Nah, sorry, I don't have time for that. Thank you for watching. Peace.